Good evening guys, welcome to another video. Tonight I will show you another motherboard that I uh, recently purchased from the last week. I couldn't film uh, the other videos, so today uh, I decided to show you what I purchased. So anyway, this is the ASUS, what you have in front is the ASUS H97M-E. It does have the M2 slot right here. And uh, it also came with the, the original disc and the manual from the ASUS. Surprisingly, the seller did provide the IO Shield back backplate that I will be using it. Uh, the motherboard came with the processor. This is the uh, the i5 4460. Uh, I can assure you that is the 4460 processor. I had to clean it up, but I need the thermal compound since uh, I don't have it. So. I'll be showing you. Uh, the reason uh, I purchased uh, this motherboard is, was my intention is to make the upgrade possible. But the seller did not inform me about the band pins that I had. That's why I'm, I always uh, advise you to check before buying things. And always check the processor, uh, the processor pads and the uh, motherboard pins. If you focus right here, we see that the uh, pins of the motherboard are bent. After I uh, have, a, have a talk with the engineer that I'm repairing the motherboard there, he said that uh, the entire circuit of the motherboard uh, must be replaced in order to use this motherboard. Now, this motherboard, uh, it does post, but the A2 and A1 and A2 slots of the, uh, of the motherboard uh, are not working, but uh, B1 and B2 slots of the motherboard, they do work. So, I can use this motherboard for testing, but I'm not going to be able to use it in uh, dual channel mode because uh, the pins are responsible for the uh, the broken pins are responsible for the damage of the memory slot. So anyway, I did use the uh, magnifier and tried to straight, to straighten them up, but I need the uh, I need the uh, microscope in order to fix them. So, yeah. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do, but my purpose for the, today's video is to show you the comparison between the 4460, the i5 and 2500K in uh, some of the apps that I've tried. So wish me luck, uh, see you very shortly guys, uh, when I'll be doing the testing. Thank you for watching. Hello again guys, I switched to Haswell i5 processor. Right now the motherboard is running uh, using the uh, single uh, channel mode and the uh, testers just keep telling me according to the uh, user benchmark that uh, I need to enable the uh, XMP profile from, from the BIOS but since the uh, socket of the motherboard is damaged uh, I'm unable to do that so what I have to do is just uh, Hope that the results will be in some way close to the uh, the other i5, the second generation, the uh, Sandy Bridge uh, 2500K. I do believe that this processor is faster than uh, 2500K, but it's not faster than the uh, i7 uh, 26, uh, 2600K. Pardon. I like how, how the user benchmarks uh, makes uh, this kind of test uh, to be more and more entertaining. Even let you uh, play some uh, using the cubes and the uh, and play around.
Right, so he's missing the SSD. Uh, let's uh, scroll down so we can uh, check uh, what is going on right here. So, okay. So this is the Core i5-4460 and uh, it has the uh, uh, 1150 uh, so uh, socket running on the uh, 1150 socket and yeah uh, according to what uh, to what it says right here is the uh, it says that the processor is very good and uh, uh, performing uh, above expectations 70 percent uh, there is a tool however i will uh, explain more about let me zoom out from here uh, i never seen this kind of things on uh, on the uh, uh, specially designed for the Windows 10. I mean, uh, there are a lot of the uh, apps out there, but I was very surprised. I'm. Uh, let me show you. Okay, let's focus here first on the uh, CPU Z, so we can uh, talk about more about the instruction set that it has. Uh, right here, we do have that is the uh, i5 4460, like I said before, and uh, the technological process is uh, running on a uh, 22 nan nanometer, which is great. Uh, the voltages is also very low. It has uh, one volt, sometimes it's just under volt, which is, is uh, amazing. And uh, the instruction set that you see from uh, SSE 1 to 4.2, and uh, it also has the AVX that I was telling you about. I always explained in my uh, previous videos that the AV, uh, AVX is very important. The AVX 1 and uh, AVX 2 are the way to go for the uh, newer games. Pardon? And yeah, it's very nice. It has uh, the same six megabyte of uh, level two cache, uh, le uh, le level three cache, pardon, and four cores, four threads. It's very nice processor. I do like it. How? And uh, let me show you something else. Uh, okay, this is the motherboard, uh, as we know, uh, the H97M-E, and uh, of course uh, it does need the BIOS update. I will be uh, getting the BIOS update running at sixteen. Uh, for the uh, graphic interface, uh, the current link and 16x. Uh, the here is a problem. It is running in single core 99924 1333 MHz. And yeah, this is it. I I cannot use the dual channel mode, unfortunately. And by SPD, we're not interested. Uh, interested pardon. Uh, let me bench the CPU. Let me stabilize it. Okay. I think it's finished already. Okay. Uh, if we're going to compare this to the uh, Nadi Core 2 Duos, let's uh, choose something else. Let's try with the first with the A10 uh, 7850K. With the, uh, of course, it's in APU. It's slower than what we have right here. But anyway, we do have uh, 1401. For the uh, multi multi threaded application and for the single core we have uh, 225 compared to the 368 now if you go to the uh, i5 uh, the seven generation uh 7600k we do have that the this processor is uh, surpassed by this uh, uh, seven generation uh, i5 now if i go to the uh, 2600k or the uh, AMD Vishera 80, 8350 at running at 4 gigahertz is very close uh, is is basically uh, close to the uh, multi-threaded application we have 1566 while our processor in multi-threaded is score somewhere 1401 and uh, in the single core this processor is faster than the uh, Vishera 8350 now, if you go to the 2600K, the things will change uh, dramatically. So we can see that this one here in single core, of course, the our processor is still faster, but in multi-core, uh, the 2600K is uh, working flawlessly and it has uh, 16, 800, uh, 1686 on it. Yeah. Okay, uh, let me show you the uh, Asus uh, 
tool that he has uh, uh, because I was very surprised. Uh, I never seen this kind of things uh, because I was uh, getting used with the older machines and uh, I keep using them. And yeah, I think it's time for uh, for an upgrade. My uh, Windows 10 right now is running. It doesn't have the fully updates at all, and uh, it does uh, run on the mechanical hard drive instead of the. Okay, this one is very interesting. Very nice uh, AI performance uh, and uh, the power saving. Of course, uh, you can find it on the LG 775 if you're running the Windows 7. But this one right here is is different. Okay, so we do have right here uh, the CPU power phase control. Uh, you do have the optimized, you have the standard optimized extreme manu and manual uh, adjustment. And uh, on the right side, we do have the CPU uh, load line calibration. Here you can uh, increase uh, your CPU calibration to, to extreme. Of course, uh, if you're using the, the overclocking. Now, if I'm going somewhere here on high, because my power supply is very weak and I'm not sure uh, what, uh, what can cause. Uh, it will cause the uh, instability, so I don't want it. Now, to the CPU capability, you can increase that. Uh, you can increase that to the to the maximum. He also says that uh, a higher value brings a wider total power range and uh, extend the overclocking frequency range simultaneously. Also, down here, we do have the CPU VRM switching to the frequency. We do have the uh, RO and the fixed CPU VRM switching frequency. I can increase also this one too. Now, what is, uh, this thing does is changing the frequency. It also affects the uh, uh, transistent uh, uh, response and uh, component thermal uh, condition. Higher frequency gets quicker transistent response. So yeah, um, anyway, uh, this is, uh, of course, uh, is available for the uh, overclocking. So yeah, but not in my case because the motherboard is uh, it's, it's quite puny and uh, the power supply is not strong enough. I, I wish even I uh, use the i5, of course, uh, it's not worth mentioning. So, yeah, I will decrease it. And here you can apply, you know, you can use the apply mode. Right, uh, let's move to the other things so I can show you. Uh, it does have the PC cleaner, which I was very surprised because Asus uh, does not provide these kind of things, uh, specially designed for uh, their motherboards. i never seen uh, this one before. For me, it's very new. So uh, let me try this one and use the scan mode. And of course, uh, it, it didn't find anything because they, uh, uh, I didn't use the, me the mechanical drive anymore. So yeah, I'm going to clean this and uh, yeah, the... Yeah, uh, what it actually does, uh, this kind of thing, is just uh, the uh, is cleaning the windows, uh, the temporary directory, recycle station, thumbnail cache, uh, cache pardon, the windows uh, error report, uh, windows update patch, and all of that. Uh, we do have the Turbo V Evo. And from here, you can make the overclocking without the... Uh, going uh, probably into the BIOS because uh, from what I can see right here, if we magnify more using the camera, which this does not want to focus as usually. God, I hate this one. Okay. Uh, I, I'm, I don't understand why it is so blurry. Okay, but I'm going to read for you. So the first one is 180 megahertz, and down we have the ratio, 6,120 megahertz. The CPU cache ratio is uh, 34 uh, x. From here you can use this slider, so I can uh, adjust uh, the way I want it. And uh, here I have the profile. I can uh, save the profile and. Uh, uh, do what I need. Of course, we do have the voltage uh, for the uh, the automatic one, and, and on the other way, I can use the offset, uh, the user. So I can properly adjust uh, if I want, if I know exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, very interesting, really interesting tool here. It's just like the AMD. So 
So by default, of course, it's using by default. And uh, if I'm changing that, it will uh, restart. I didn't know that this tool can do that. So yeah. Now, if you're going to go to the BIOS, Okay, this is how the uh, BIOS looks like, uh, the UEFI pardon. Okay, we do have the Seagate right here that is shown, and here are all the voltages. Now, if you're going to go to the advanced mode, all, all, all you have to do, pardon, all you have to do is just uh, press F7. And from here, I can go, we, we can see the revision of the BIOS uh, from uh, 2014. And from here, the AI tweaker. Uh, the cache frequency only goes to at 3.4 gigahertz and right here we do have these settings that is important i can undervolt the cpu if i want but i'm not sure if it's stable in, uh, enough but uh, i'm i'm very happy that i ha i have the chance to to test out these things i never sh had the uh, motherboards like this one of course from here you can adjust the uh, configuration of the PCI Express and down come on we can also use the escape all the time the uh, SARA the AHCI is set and the monitoring okay with the uh, for this processor I was very surprised because the uh, cooler uh, the star cooler is, is is very small but the 32 uh, 32 degrees Celsius is a very nice uh, temperature for, yeah. Okay, here we have the overclocking uh, profile. You can also use this one too if you're interested. But I did try it and uh, it doesn't work. So yeah. Okay, we do have the fan control right here. You can also adjust uh, this line calibration according to... You have uh, the standard, the silent, the turbo, full speed and the manual. So if you choose to go to the manual, of course it will... Uh, you can uh, adjust it uh, yourself so you can play around with this... Uh, with this one, like this. How do you... How do you want to be? Yeah, so without further ado, I will try the, uh, I will give you the results uh, later on so you can make an idea about. Uh, and uh, we will talk more about it. Yeah, so see you, see you guys uh, very shortly in the second part of the video when I'll be testing the, maybe the other games and uh, the other apps that are important of course the Geek, Geek, Geekbench 5 so we can compare the results between the two computers so yeah thank you for watching guys and uh, see you in the part 2